Hi, I'm Marcus. I'm one of the techs here at Super Abrasive. I'm going to run you through our startup procedure for the 13. Um, and beyond that, we're just going to talk about a few fun features that you can do with your new edger. Uh, first thing we're going to do, make sure we turn the gas on. While we're up here, check the e-stop. That was actually depressed. And then you got your um, functions on your throttle cable. Start being at the most forward position. So now that we got our gas, e-stop, and in the starting position, I always go ahead and just check the oil. This does not have an oil pressure sensor, so it will not fail safe itself. You must check the oil. And you'll notice I'm turning it left counterclockwise to check the oil, not screwing it down into the thing. Plenty of oil, looks good. And this is a new machine. Normally we would check the air, fil air filter as well, but since it's brand new, we'll go ahead and assume that it's good. So beyond this, and the oil's good, we gotta get down in here between the engine and the regulator, and you'll see there's a small button with a spring wrapped around it. You wanna depress that, that is our uh, uh, atmospheric bleed. We're basically, we're pressurizing the regulator to get fuel to the carburetor. Push and hold that no longer than one second. Now we're all good, everything's in the starting position. Shouldn't take much. We're going to go all the way back to idle to prevent it from scratching the floor. This is a centrifugal clutch. If you go at half throttle or full throttle, it will spin the plate down below. I can make, just tilt it back so we don't scratch it up. Run it. Bring it down to idle, wait for the plate to stop spinning. Two ways to shut it down emergency stop or you could just go ahead and cut the gas off both of them are working no problem um, I would say gas turn that off for the rest of the day if you're done grinding for the day if you're just going to lunch you can always use the e-stop uh, beyond that we have a few other features um, we moved the tilt this way adjustment from the front to the side basically this large thing here is just a jam nut just want to back that off and it's pretty simple, it has, it tilts and you can run this either way to see which way you're tilting. Um, that'll be a benefit when you are grinding up against a wall, which is adjusted by this one. Same jam nut, you just pull that up. And now you can see we would be able to grind up against a wall. Having removed all this stuff, you can grind flush up against the wall, no problem. And it still travels straight. If you're doing the opposite side, it's just the opposite. And then this is where you would adjust your tilt, make sure everything's grinding smoothly. Um, if you're having issues front to back, your adjustment is here. It actually goes ahead and drives this, picks the wheels up back here to create a flat surface on your front. 